all know the universal signal of surrender. A person raises their hands in the air. This is also a scriptural form of worship, signifying surrender to God. Psalm 63, 4 says, I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift my hands. But raising the hands in surrender is not the same as offering the heart in surrender. We can raise our hands on the outside, but inside still be unsubmissive to the one we're supposedly surrendering to. That's why we must also understand Romans 12, 1 and 2. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and prove what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. True surrender is complete submission to the plan and will of God for our lives. True worship is not just singing or dancing. True worship is not just lifting up of our hands. True worship is also laying down our entire life before God. So let us continue to lift our hands, but let us also examine our hearts, making sure what we express on the outside is also reality on the inside.